So this recitation will go over creating a GCP VM instance. This video is entirely optional. You can get through the entire semester with only Colab instances, which is what the previous video went over. Um, some reasons you might want to create a GCP VM instance is if you want to access the hardware on VS Code, if you want to SSH into it. Um, and also sometimes Colab instances might be a little bit hard to obtain. Some regions might be out of resources. So VMs might be a little bit easier to get your hands on. So this can be followed on uh, whether you have a Mac or Windows. So let's start with going into our terminal. And then CD tilde, make sure you go into your home directory. And then if you don't have one already, let's just do this anyway. Create a .ssh. This will be the default folder for like all SSH stuff. Uh, so I already have one, but if you didn't, it'll, this will create it for you. Let's go into our .ssh. And then we will do uh, ssh dash keygen is t rsa dash b 4096. Let's do idl gcp rsa. Enter, enter, no passphrase. All right, so you can see we have our idl gcp rsa. So let's do cat idl gcp rsa dot pub. So now we can see the contents of it here. So let's copy this. Let's go back to GCP and let's go to SSH and then we'll go to SSH keys. And then here we'll click add SSH key and then we will paste what we just copied there. Make sure to delete everything at the end, including this ampersand sign and then make this double equals and then double space. So make sure you do that and then save. So now that we have our SSH key saved, Go into Compute Engines, VM Instances. I'm going to create a VM instance. Um, let's just pick US S2. And then we'll click GPUs. And then we'll want to make sure that we have our NVIDIA T4. You can also get a V100 later if you want. Uh, we'll click here for high memory. And then make sure to click this 26 gigabyte option. And then after that, we're going to want to go into OS and Storage. And then click change. Uh, we're going to suggest that you go back to Debian Linux 11. Uh, we've noticed fewer issues here. And then between 60 and 80 gigabytes for this should be good. Let's just put 80 and then select. And then we'll click create. All right. So once you have your GCP VM up, we're going to want to open up VS Code. Go to extensions and make sure you have the SSH extension installed. Once you have that, click this caret sign and then do connect. And then you'll find an option, remote SSH connect to host. I want to click add a new host. And then we can just call it IDL GCP VM, something like that. <clears throat> so we'll want to put it into our uh, typical default config file. And then we'll open the config. And then here, we're going to want to add two new fields, the identity file, and then also the user. Um, for the host name, we're going to want to change this. Let's go back to our GCP site. Uh, find this external IP, copy that, put that there. For our identity file, let's go back to our terminal. And then we have the directory that we created this in. Let's copy that, add a new backslash and then also put our private key. So copy that, put that there. Finally, for our user, if we go to SSH, SSH keys, we can see that our username was this. Copy that, put that there. All right. So then once you have that, go into your remote explorer. You should be able to refresh if you need, and then you should be able to see your IDL GCP VM. Just click this, and then you'll be in there. Click Linux, click Continue. So once you're in your GCP VM, you click here, click open folder, and then let's just click the home directory here. So now you can see we'll be brought to our home directory in here. And we're going to want to create a new file really quick called setup.sh. And then here you'll paste your script. This will be in the description. Um, and then you can see here, it'll prompt you for your uh, Kaggle username while we set up. You'll get your Kaggle username from the Kaggle website, but we can click Terminal, New Terminal. Let's do LS here. 
and then we'll have to do chmod plus x setup.sh just so that it's executable. We'll run sh setup.sh and then that's it. A few more things. Once you're done with your VM instance, just like with the Colab instance, you'll want to select it and then delete it so that you're not using up any more credits. And then if you're having any more issues with VM, uh, the VM later on, uh, you can go into your SSH folder and then you can use whatever editor, you can use VS Code, Vim, whatever you want. Uh, I'll just use Notepad really quickly. And if you have any known hosts in here, all you have to do is take this, delete it, clear it out, and then you can try creating another instance and it should help sometimes. All right, good luck.